Yo. <sighs> this dentist is probably looking crazy, talking crazy. That's because this lower quadrant is just out of pocket. I can't even get my words together right now. Blurring, looking stupid, just all types of trifling, right? Every single day I'm gonna make something great That's my way Every single day I'm gonna make something great That's my, that's my way Continue to strive for self I'm going to start a gratitude journal. Start with myself because I know that I can be a workaholic and I can just hammer at something until it's done. That's how I get results. And I be the most naturally talented individual. But what I do know about myself is I work hard and I hammer away at a task. I will not stop until I achieve what I want to achieve. There are times when I have worked so hard at the thing and not taken inventory of if that's for me or not. So aligning myself with things that are for me and working hard at them is something that I'm working on. But I'm going to start doing a gratitude journal to just chronicle everything that I'm grateful for. I'm going to take about six or seven minutes a day in the morning and start the day off on a positive note. Be a lot more in charge of my emotions, taking responsibility for the disappointments and things that I've had in my life and I'm smiling about them because I want to turn that negative into a positive. I'm also learning that every situation that I've been through has been for my good. If not felt like it in the time, but all in all, it's been for my good. I was talking to my partner and in that discussion, I realized everything that I've been through, which includes feeling like I didn't have a voice, feeling like individuals didn't listen to me, feeling like I was gravely misunderstood. All of those different things culminated into this big ball of me being a stickler for communication. I've been hearing feedback from individuals I've come into contact with, creatives, etc., that I have a command of voice and when I talk to you, listen, everything that I've been through, the positive experiences, the negative experiences, feeling like my voice didn't matter, feeling like I wasn't heard, feeling like I'm just misunderstood, coming to the table, prepared to be misunderstood, ready to lip box. All of those things have been culminated into a communication skill. And therefore, here we have now, <laughs> I'm talking to you guys. I'm sharing with you guys my experience, hopefully inspiring you to be one iota better than you were the day before. That's one of my goals. I've also been getting feedback from individuals that I've changed. A lot of things that I wanted and worked toward, I am not going to be able to get without making some changes. As a creative, I cannot, I cannot continue to be the same person that I was yesterday while growing forward. Just say growing forward, not going forward. Growing forward. Partially because the individual that I was two or three years ago was not creatively in tune with my true self. I put those pieces of me away to work on being a professional, to work on being the career and goal-driven individual in terms of academic success, career success. Those were the things I was focused on because I thought that that would bring me fulfillment. However, we've gotten to and through that is back to the middle. I've been a creative individual for a very long time. I like blogging, blogging, speaking, creating. Those are things that feed my soul. When I do them, I get a sense of fulfillment. I love doing this thing. I love that. And if I reach and inspire one or two individuals, I am excited and happy about that. 
if somebody just takes a look at this video and says that they've gathered something positive from my words, I am so grateful. I kind of believe that everything I go through is for my own good. A friend of mine also gave me a book called Trust. Reading and doing self-improvement and self-reflection, those are continual things that I will be doing. But the book about trust is more or less about trusting yourself. And I can understand and see how lack of trust in myself projects out into the universe. I don't trust myself, so therefore I don't trust other individuals. All of my experiences were to show me that, okay, meanwhile you may not trust so-and-so, learn to trust your instincts. So it's a deeper layer than just the what happened. It's what happened, but... How do you internalize what happened and how do you understand and experience what happened and grow forward through that? Even in the previous relationship, I took what happened and internalized that to me that I wasn't good enough. That had I done things differently, that relationship would have broke down. When in fact, what I was supposed to learn is trust your instincts and don't let anybody dim your shine. Don't play small to ensure that other few people still remain feeling large. Very tough lessons that I've learned, but hopefully somebody sees this and they take inventory and understand that sometimes you got a lot of tough lessons. They're purposeful. You need them. Because there are certain lessons that need to be so tough that you get it. When I look back over my life and I think about First, I've been allowed to see to see a black president, to see a black vice president. I am excited and I'm optimistic as we look forward. I'm looking forward to that because I know individuals who are in office are reflective of those of their constituents. Representation truly matters. Young women need to see a woman vice president. Young people need to see black individuals in office. Because a lot of people feel like that's a white thing. That's for white people. And that's not the truth. It's quite ignorant, honestly. At the very least, I understand it. Even if I don't agree, and that's one thing, I've never had to agree with something to understand at least what another person is coming from. That's another thing that life's about that I've learned. We can agree to disagree. We can have discourse. I can see and hear where you're coming from and feel where you're coming from. Shifting my outlook off of seeking to be understood first, but seeking to understand first. I've noticed that seeking to understand first, I tend to get a better outcome. It's a few gems in here. Rewind it at your leisure. I could probably talk all day. <laughs> Yo. <sighs> this Dennis is. probably looking crazy, talking crazy. That's because this lower quadrant is just out of pocket. The lower left is just, I can't feel my damn thing. So I'm probably slurring, looking stupid, just all types of trifles, right? When I tell y'all, This dentist got me together. <laughs> it's not even funny, but it's funny. Y'all, this dentist, when I tell y'all, this dentist got me all the way together. <laughs> My brother referred me to him. And I just, I'm, I'm just thankful to be under the care of a dental hygiene practitioner that does what's best for you. I went in for a consultation and new exam screening, you know, 
all that. Right? So, recommended things based on that. I'm just very thankful for that. I have no metal feelings in my mouth anymore. They have all been taken out. Um, I had metal feelings since I was like 13 years old. He took them all out. My teeth look amazing. I'm, I'm so excited. So I really enjoy um, going to the dentist. I saw that there was still some soap on your car. Okay. I was going to help you get it off. Okay. Me too. Um, yep. If you want to back up into the, if you want to just want to reverse it. Okay. Spot, we got air guns over there, so it makes it a little bit easier. Appreciate it. Super duper thankful. Thank you guys. I will talk to y'all soon.